Bob Maloney from MyMMANews.com, and today I am talking to my man, Sergeant Dylan Beaver, and I can say that. Congratulations, Dylan. Dylan, as you can see, is an active member of the military and the Marines, and he was just promoted to sergeant yesterday. First, let's talk about that, Dylan. Got to be a great feeling, you know, to work and, and, and get, get, get show them showing you advancement. Let's talk to me about yesterday's great ceremony. I mean, it was just uh... – it, so there's things that are called like more admins and whatnot. And, uh, they, they kind of dictate how, how the Marine Corps works and, and all that. And so as it, I think it was three years ago or two years ago, they changed the requirement to where you had to have four years time in service as a minimum to, uh, to even, to even see the rank. And so as soon as I hit my four years, uh, I got promoted. So, I mean, it was just nice to see that like the hard work kind of pays off. So as soon as I was eligible for it, you know, I, I got it. So it was, it was nice to see. How how has it worked out for you, Dylan? Now, this is your second fight, right? So obviously, the, you know, your superiors and the people that you work with in the Marines, they know that, you know, are they like gung-ho supporting you? Do they, you know, mess around with you? How, how does that play? And, you know, obviously your management knows you're taking, they know you're fighting. Obviously, they're allowing you to do that. Just give me some of the intricacies of how that works with, you know, your fellow, you know, Marines and your superiors. Oh, I mean, they, they love it, man. They, they're all for it. I mean, from like the highest level, um, like the, our squadron, our XO, he's, he's all for it. You know, he, he loves watching the fights. My OIC he went to my last fight, you know, when the officer side, the enlisted side, you know, if they're not flying or working, you know, they're there to support and they all love it. And so, you know, everybody's excited. We have posters up in the building and, you know, it's just, everyone's excited to watch it. It's something for them to do. Cause you know, out here, I mean, you've been out here where we're, we're located at. So out here in New Jersey, there's not much. And so, you know, you know, when you got a local guy and Marine, everyone, you know, hope they like me. But when they you know I'm fighting out there, you know, they come to support it. And it's nice. You know, I got a good, good crowd behind me whenever I go and do this kind of stuff. Have you gotten any of those guys to come with you across the street over to Power Half and get a workout in and, and you know, see what it's like? Absolutely. Yeah, there's a couple couple guys from across the divisions that have come out and um, they've, you know, they've shown up and trained with me. And I got a couple guys that are consistently doing it now and starting to compete and uh, we got a former former MMA fighter who is a reservist, and uh, he's looking to be fighting here soon. But you know, he's one of my avid trading partners too. And you know, it's really good that we have a, a good strong base out here. So, and hey, listen, just like you know, in the service, I mean, that teammate stuff it builds camaraderie. You know what I mean? And you have your own, you know, own family there. That's fantastic. Now, now, listen, Dylan, you've been through a lot. You've been through boot camp. You've been through all that, and then you had your first fight. So, you know, I don't think you will be you will be as nervous as as many people are. But it's still your first real fight. So, you know, you you had a tremendous performance. You 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 fought up a weight class, and you still came away with that. You know, a beautiful second round game team victory. Tell me a little bit about what you remember about that fight. I'm sure it was a flash, but just give me, you know, you know, in your mind, some of the things you think about, about that, your first performance. Um, I mean, I'd have to say, just, you know, Bilal was a, he's a very intimidating guy. <laughs> you met him, he's a, he's a big dude. And um, yeah, I mean, it was just like, kind of just showed, it doesn't really matter how intimidating you may are, may be, or perceived to be, uh, I'm still going to fight you. You know what I mean? I'm not too worried about the pressure when it comes to that kind of stuff. I, I trust, you know, um, the the implements that Jeff puts into our game plan and, and how like, the minute details that he adds to everything, it just it really adds on to, you know, the big picture of, of, of what we're going to accomplish. And so, I mean, from that, it just kind of was like tried and true that, like, you know, he had the reach, he had the height, he had the weight. You know, there was a lot of things. He had all the experience in the cage prior to I did, you know, all, all these cards stacked against me. I just, you know, just listened to what Jeff was saying and following his game plan. It just, you know, worked out perfectly. You know, it was like a movie. All right. Well, listen, July 16th, Art of War Cage Fighting 25. You're going in there against the 2-0 and Eric Bites. Now, I don't know if you got the – listen, you fought early in the card, so I don't know if he, he fought on the last card with you. So I don't know if you got to see him fight, but, you know, his fight was pretty, pretty wild. He got rocked early on. And then came back and dominated the second and third round. He showed a ton of heart, a lot of grappling skills. I think both of you are kind of grinders and muckers and have like have like a lot of heart and 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 strong motors. Both have really great grapp. I hated to see this fight because I love both of you guys. I think both of you guys 
are going to be pro fighters in your future. And it's unfortunate that this is how it has to happen. Sometimes, you know, you're fighting somebody that you might meet later down in the line. So tell me a little bit about how you guys are looking at this fight. I love the fight. I think both of you guys are really hard workers, both talented. How are you guys taking it? Um, you know, nothing but respect to the guy. He's, he's, he's no, he's no pushover. And that's, that's a fact. I mean, you don't go two and zero without a reason. And he's also a purple belt. So it's just like, we take into consideration his, his strengths. And then we've also analyzed the film and figured out where we're going to attack and what our game plan is going to be. And it's just more of a, uh, we're kind of keeping the confidence on our side that we're going to be able to get it done. But, uh, there's no like animosity towards the guy or anything like that. You know, I got a lot of respect for him and I just, uh, I know we're going to put on a good show. It's not going to be a, a snooze fest. I know that for a fact. Listen, I listen. You know, Jeff is like the professor. I mean, do you do you guys do you enjoy that? Like analyzing the fight and 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 the technical part even more as you've gotten into the sport more often. I mean, when you first are in the sport and you're watching it and you start to train, you don't realize, you know, the film and the study and that goes into it. I mean, there is a huge, you know, mental part of the sport and that comes with studying and with watching. Have you grown to enjoy that even more? I have. It, it's shown me a different side to it. You know, it kind of takes you from being like that, that fan that likes to watch UFC events, you know, and you're just a spectator to a, uh, like now when you watch that kind of stuff you're like oh okay so like that he does this so this is what's going to happen next kind of thing so you just you get a, a better appreciation for like what you're watching you know and it it's, it's make me love the sport a lot more because it helps you know it helps my own game you know well listen just like you know it's something you like to do it's you, you you're constantly learning it's the sport where you know you're constantly learning, learning and getting better and especially right now i mean you're an amateur you're making your second fight once again man i'm so excited and honored to be talking to dylan beaver he just made sergeant in the marine corps yesterday he's actively protecting this country this great country and uh he's got his second career fight coming up in newtown at the athletic center july 16th dylan man before we go give some shout outs i know listen you know one of the things that you're learning about is the support to help you get into the cage so give out some shout outs or some love to the people that are that are pushing you to you know get you to that that level where you can come out there where your arm raced yeah uh you know first off is a shout out my sponsors you know so represent your fight they've been hooking it up since i started training out here with the new gym with uh you know apparel um any kind of gear that i could need you know they've, they've really been holding it down and they make high quality stuff everything they do is custom and, it, and it's great and then uh the guys down at inspire nutrition out here in cookstown new jersey um great supplements with great deals i mean that's all you can say about that they're you know veteran supporters out there and so that's what we love and uh my friends at tattooing body art i'll be uh posting out here soon some tattoo giveaways that they're uh allowing me to do and uh yeah just all the support from them and the support from my family and the marines here on base and then you know all the all the family at power half you know it's just all the love. Bill and man, thanks again for doing what you do and putting that work in. I know life is a grind. You know, you're at work grinding in the Marines. Then you're going to the gym and you're just nonstop all day. And thanks for being a great part of the MMA community. And I look forward to, you know, your next chapter and best of skills uh, coming up July 16th. I look forward to seeing you away. And it's always a pleasure to talk to you. Give Jeff and Vince big hugs from me. All right. I will.